Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a what happens after your driving test video because I've already done a what happens before your driving test so I thought I would just do this one. Um, yes this video is split and instead of doing like all the way through what happens in your test because I've already done that video. Um, go to my channel there's one what happens in your driving test or what to expect on your driving test day. I have that video I have what happens beforehand so now I'm doing this one. So we're just going to start so basically after your driving test you'll be took back to the driving test centre. And they'll tell you to park up in a bay. But in my test, she literally just said, go in the test centre. She didn't say, go in a bay. She said, stop right in the bloody middle of the car park. Nobody could get in. Nobody could get out. But it didn't matter anyways because, um, yeah, it just didn't matter. But anyways, so she stopped me there. And then after that happens, they'll go, okay, so can you turn the engine off, please? And then you just sit there for like a, literally a couple of seconds. And you're like... And it literally feels like a lifetime because all you want is your test result. And then they'll be like, okay, so I'm pleased to tell you that you've passed. Or they'll say, I'm sorry to say, but you have failed this time. So then they'll tell you that. And after that, um, they'll do the paperwork on your certificate. They'll be like, okay, I'm just going to write this out. Just wait there a few seconds or whatever. Um, you can... Uh, just sit there you know take your seatbelt off wind the window down if you're hot bit I don't know but yeah you just sit there until they finish that and then they'll go okay there's your certificate and they'll give it to you and then after that they'll say um do you want me to take your driving license away so you can like get your new driving license so your actual driving license your full driving license and, the, and you should say yeah but then they'll also say well if you don't want me to take it away you can take it away yourself take it to the post office and send off for a full driving license but i wouldn't do that because it takes longer so basically just give your driving like your professional driving license to the examiner and they'll take it away and i think mine took three four days i think it was if not i'm just going to say a week and then you get your full driving license i think mine was only a couple of days because i did my test on a tuesday i either got it on the friday or i got it on the following monday but it came pretty quick but that's what happens um then after that they'll obviously just say oh well i hope you're gonna be good on the road or whatever some of them will have a conversation with you like a tiny conversation be like oh what car are we gonna get what do you want what car do you want and stuff like that but mine she was just like okay there's your certificate um or also they tell you um take your certificate with you um everywhere you go well if you're driving if you don't have your license yet your full license you know you have to take that so um you can also drive straight away after you've passed your driving test but make sure you have your certificate in the car with you and that acts as your full driving license until you get your actual driving license through the post um but yeah she literally just got out the car straight away she said like, okay well done um that was a really good drive this is what she said it was she was like that's a really good drive um you're actually a really good driver and I was like oh okay thanks and then she's like okay well it was nice meeting you bye and she literally just got out the car she was literally two seconds and boom she was literally gone and that was it basically then after that my instructor came and she sat no she told me to get out the car she's like okay you have to go around the passenger seat and she'll drive us home so I'm like oh, okay and then she just got in she's like yeah I'm really happy blah, blah, blah. you know what the the norm is here and what your parents are saying they say the same thing like, I'm really happy but yeah but yeah that's what she said and then basically I just talked about what happened on the test and things like that just explained that I did the emergency stop I did the parallel park stuff like that like the route that you take the take you on the last the instructor asked oh what did they do with that blah blah and you just don't really talk about it and then you just act happy and you can phone people when you're on your way back if you want I didn't I just wait till I got home um but yeah that's literally what happens um around there after you test and then when you come home obviously your instructor be like oh it was nice um doing your lessons with you i'm glad you passed blah 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 and then after that my instructor asked me to take a picture with a sign that said i passed with the company that i passed with i was like yeah whatever so then they put it on the social medias most of them do do that you don't have to obviously but it's nice just to be put on there and like for them to get recognition that they've had so many people pass with them um so yeah that's what happened um then what happened after that um, she was just like okay i hope you drive safe and then that was it really. i got out of the car i'm in my house and i'm telling everyone that i passed my test and then i got on insurance on my mum's car because i haven't um well actually i tried to get my own car and no one was accepting so i've saved like six grand so far and i just need like another two or four grand to get the car that i want which is good and obviously then i'll have money for insurance monthly so which is fine but yeah 
Um, I got straight put onto my mum's insurance. The next day, I got all my friends in the car. And we went to the beach and I drove. And obviously, like I said, I took my certificate with me to act as my driving licence. Completely fine. And yeah, I did a really good drive. And that is literally what happens after your driving test. So I hope in your driving test that you pass your driving test. If you didn't, don't worry because you will eventually pass. Um, the times are long now to wait for a driving test. But you'll get there in the end. Don't worry about it. But yeah, guys, if you like the video and like the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.